guys today we discussed about our fourth lesson hygiene our strength hygiene is a most important role in our life practices and habits that keep us healthy are called hygiene the word hygiene is derived from the greek word hygis it means goddess of health its meaning is healthy sound we want to follow healthy hygiene in our life healthy habits you know which are the healthy habits they are personal care and environmental care these are the personal hygiene we want to must follow in our daily life next environmental hygiene that means protecting our surroundings or public places from food waste garbage stagnant water is called environmental hygiene or social hygiene microorganisms we didn't clean ourselves and our surrounding many microorganism can spread and it cause many diseases mosquitoes mosquitoes spread diseases like malaria dengue fever and chikungunya just observe how it spread life cycle of a mosquito the mosquito's life cycle starts with laying eggs it lays eggs on stagnant water and other containers that can hold water such as discarded tires cans buckets etc The female mosquito lays small cigar-shaped eggs which are soft and white. Most species lay eggs that are stuck together in rafts of a hundred or more eggs. Normally the eggs are white when first deposited, then darken to near black within a day. They will hatch in 1 to 3 days depending on the temperature. When the larvae are ready to hatch, they use a small temporary tooth on their heads to break open the egg along a suture. Larvae swim either through propulsion with their mouth brushes or by jerky movements of their entire bodies, giving them the common name of wigglers. Most species of mosquito larvae spend most of their time hanging upside down on the surface, sucking in oxygen through a siphon tube used for breathing. They also have an abdomen, thorax, and eyes. The larvae must live in water from 7 to 14 days depending on water temperature. Larvae shed their skin 4 times after which they become pupae. Mosquito pupae are commonly called tumblers which is a resting non-feeding stage. They must take in oxygen from time to time through two breathing tubes known as trumpets. They have short curved bodies with antennae, eyes, legs, wings and an abdomen. The pupal skin splits along the top of the case when the adult mosquito is ready to emerge from the pupae stage. The adult mosquito slowly and carefully works its way out of the pupal case. The newly emerged adult rests on the surface of the water for a short time to allow itself to dry and all its parts to harden. The wings also need to spread out and dry properly before the mosquito can fly. Adult mosquitoes are made up of a head with two large compound eyes, a thorax, and a pair of scaled wings. We can protect ourselves from mosquitoes by using mosquito net, fogging, mosquito repellents like coils, electrical gadgets, etc. Next method is dry day. This is done by draining stagnant water from coconut shells, tires, pots, jumps, etc. Dry day can be observed once in a week to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes. 
housefly. The housefly is a small insect seen in our surroundings. This creature is seen in polluted areas and on decayed substances. It sits on foodstuff that is sweet or cut open. Just observe how it spreads diseases. The small creatures spread diseases like dysentery and cholera. To avoid this, we want to clean our surrounding well and cover our foot. You might have seen the rat on roofs and in halls. This chap bites into pieces and destroys whatever comes his way. The rat visits in the kitchen and storeroom in search for food. The rat's excreta falls on these food articles, spreading different types of diseases like rat fever, plaque, etc. Do not allow waste to accumulate and cover the food materials and food. Dehydration When diseases like dysentery are caused, the water content of the body is lost to a large extent. In order to bring back the lost water to the body, rehydration therapy should be carried out. ORS Salt rice water Lime juice with salt and sugar Salted buttermilk Tender coconut water etc. Any of these should be given to drink. We should develop good healthy habits like brushing teeth, disposing of waste materials at the right place, good toilet habits, wearing footwear while going out, etc. Bye.